Okay, this is just a, an epilogue to the uh, video that I made uh, before uh, Shabbos on the evils of Rabbinic Judaism. And basically, I'm making this video uh, in response uh, to some of the comments that have been made uh, on Facebook and on uh, YouTube, uh, hopefully to clarify uh, some of the positions. In one of the in the statement that I made, I said that Jesus was wrong, and uh, of course that got everybody mad and angry. Um, how could possibly Jesus was wrong? Uh, you know, and uh, of course these sort of beliefs are uh, deeply set in the emotions of uh, Christians who believe this type of stuff. Um, so I think it's only fair that I uh, set the record straight and explain uh, from a perspective of a rabbinic Judaism why he was wrong. Basically it boils down to two issues. Uh, the question is, in the setting of uh, John chapter 5, was there an Eruv in place when this particular hap incident happened where the uh, man picked up his bed uh, and walked? He picked up his bed because Jesus instructed him uh, to do so after he healed him, or supposedly healed him. Now then, for those who are listening, what is an Eruv? Well, an Eruv basically is uh, an area uh, which uh, it typically is marked out by some kind of a boundary like a wall or some kind of a wire or even a door lintel uh, a combination or a combination of those things which sets out a basic area where basically the, the purpose of an Eruv is to allow a person to carry uh, an item from one place to another and so things if you don't have an, er an Eruv there's a very serious problem because you could actually break uh, what the written Torah says in terms of if there's no Eruv, if you transfer an item from one place to another, then that's a Torah prohibition. You've broken the Torah. It's a very, very serious thing. And this is why Jeremiah talks about it. But again, going back to what Jeremiah was saying, he says, as I commanded your fathers, again, you go back into the written Torah, you can't find any information about what it actually means, uh, as I've commanded your fathers. So the first thing I wanted to say then is that a lot of times uh, if we're in a city, sometimes people actually don't rely on the Eruv of a city or, or, or a, what they call a city-wide Eruv. There's some people who say that it doesn't, uh, it doesn't uh, work because possibly Eruv is broken or it can't be relied upon. And some people say that no, in that case, even though uh, people claim there's an Eruv in the city, um, you, know, you still can't carry it because then that there would be a problem. You would be breaking a Torah. Uh, prohibition. Okay, so the first thing is that then if in the situation where the man picked up his bed there was no Eruv or there was a Eruv but it was questionable uh, and the people who were saying that the man had done wrong were Jews. They were, it says specifically in the passage that they were Jews. It wasn't just some particular brand of evil Pharisees but they were Jews who said that the man was doing wrong by picking up his bed. So maybe in the context of what's been sp said, it was considered, if there was an Eruv, that that Eruv was unreliable. And therefore, the man picking up his bed okay, would be a violation of the written Torah. And the man had done wrong and Jesus had done wrong in telling him to do that. Now then, so that's if there's no Eruv or a questionable Eruv. If there was an Eruv, there is still a problem. There's still a problem. And I'm going to illustrate it this way. If, for example, there was an error and I wanted to carry this calculator, or I wanted to carry this pen here, I wouldn't be able to do it. And the reason why is because you can't use a pen to write on the Sabbath. That's another thing that you can't do on the Sabbath. You can't write. You certainly can't use a calculator on the Sabbath. So carrying something from one place to place is not necess necessarily mean that you can carry anything. Okay? So another example of that you couldn't carry say a potato because the thing is carrying a potato from one place to another, why would you do that? Well obviously you want to cook the potato because you want to eat the potato, but the thing is you can't cook on the Sabbath. It's actually in the written Torah. It says before sa before the Sabbath begins you must cook what you're gonna cook and boil what you need to boil. So again Carrying a potato would be a wrong thing, just as a pen or a calculator. However, if my friend, say next door, he's got guests coming for the Sabbath and he needs chairs, there's nothing wrong 
for him to come and take my chairs and carry them from my house to his house so he can accommodate his, death, his guests on the Sabbath. Okay? Because a chair is a perfectly usable thing on the Sabbath. There's no problem with that if there's an error. However, if I know that my friend next door is having his party on a Sunday, the day after the Sabbath, and I know that I'm going to be busy on Sunday, I can't decide on the Sabbath and think, ah, I know what I'll do. Today, the Sabbath, I'll take those chairs around to my friends for his party on the Sunday. That would be wrong. Okay? So there are restrictions with the Eruv. And we understand those restrictions to mean that you must carry something that is, first of all, it's allowable, like you can use it, like a chair, and also the intended use must be appropriate for the Sabbath as well. So going back to what uh, the, the story with Jesus and the man, healing the man and telling the man to pick the bed up, first of all, there's a bit of lack of information. I mean, first of all, why did he have his bed outside in the public? He healed him. I mean, told him to pick his, ba his bed up. Where did he go with it? If he's been there all the time, every day, day in, day out with his bed, well, why does he need to move it? Why did he need to pick it up in the first place? I mean, you can use a bed, yes, you can definitely lie down and sleep in your bed on the Sabbath, but then to pick it up and to move it, for what purpose? Unfortunately, it doesn't say. I rather feel it's something more like Jesus doing a little bit controversial. And I think that's one of the problems that certainly I and other Jews have with Jesus. Hope oh, that's cleared it up. End of video.